Right, good morning. Hello, everybody. Last Textile Tuesday of the year. Can you believe that? Um, and it's beautiful outside. Where did all that snow go? Did you enjoy the snow? Or were you kind of a bit bar humbug about it? It actually came really quickly and it went really quickly, didn't it? We only had it for about a week. Um, I loved it, I have to say. I really enjoyed taking Olive for a walk in it. It was amazing. Um, she thought it was absolutely incredible. She loved the snow. Um, but I have to admit, I'm actually quite pleased it's gone. So um, I won't be sorry to uh, see it go at all. It was lovely whilst it was here, but actually I quite prefer it how it is now. A little bit warmer. I know it's wet, but it's actually warmer outside than it is inside. Well, it has been anyway. Um, so today, this is a kind of uh, a live of two halves, if you see what I mean. Um, so we've got our big offer, our advent offer today is 50% off the Rosalind pyjama PDF pattern. So I thought I would just kind of show you some fabrics that work really nicely with the Rosalind, which I have behind me here. So we've also got the pyjamas, the really simple pyjamas, which are in the sewing studio. But I quite like a proper set of pyjamas. Do you know what I mean? I'm not that fussed on having a t-shirt to wear with them. I really like a proper pyjama shirt. Now, I have to admit, I don't actually wear these in bed, but they're quite nice for just schlepping around the house kind of thing, which is brilliant. So we've got our sample pair made up in one of the fabrics that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and this is a, it's kind of like a brushed viscose. It feels like a brushed cotton, but it has the softness and the drape of a viscose, which is really lovely. And we've just used a little bit of our linen here for piping. So that's quite cool. And we've also got the um, twill tape, if you want to put that through the waistband. So you've got elastication and a waistband, kind of a drawstring at the same time, which is brilliant. So that's a really nice option. Morning, Donna, how are you? And happy Christmas. Absolutely, happy Christmas to you too. So the pyjama pattern, the Rosalind, works with knits and woven. So you can kind of interchange them. Now, obviously working with a knit fabric, you're gonna need a ballpoint needle and make sure that you have got a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. If you've got a walking foot, that's even better. So you can, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a real tickle this morning, so I'm sorry. If you've got a walking foot, then you can sew the whole thing on your sewing machine and you don't need to worry about the overlocker. Otherwise, you can just use the overlocker and that will do the job for you. So that's not a problem at all. Morning, Heather. Happy Christmas, everyone. Uh, morning, Anne. Morning, Jules. Love the snow, but not the cold, unfortunately. The two come together. I know they do, don't they? It was a bit chilly. Um, everybody was wrapped in their duvets, weren't they, last week, Liv, up in the office? <laughs> it was getting a bit chilly up there. Um, but luckily, it's warming up a bit. I know we won't have a white Christmas, but that's okay. So the fabrics that I'm going to show you, because we've got, <coughs> excuse me, the offer on, our advent offer at the moment is the Rosalind pyjamas, 50% off the PDF pattern for those. So I'm gonna show you some fabrics. And then it's pure self-indulgence. I'm just gonna show you my favorite fabrics. And I can tell you what I would make them up in. There we go. So this is Calico Days. And I do really like this. This is quite pretty actually. It's a cotton jersey. And we've paired it with the blush pink cotton jersey so if you didn't want to make a proper top you could just make a little t-shirt to go with it like the peas blossom or something like that again if you're sewing studio members you've got all the patterns in there already so this is just a nice little kind of combination <coughs> morning wendy how are you thanks for joining us um so we've got the pyjama bottoms that you could make up quite nicely in both of these, actually. These, and I have to say, I almost put it in with one of my favourites. I love this colour. And I would use this also for um, the mechanicals loungewear. So either making um, a pair of yoga pants or um, just a big oversized Julia top to wear with it, I think would be really lovely. And if you like the whole kind of matchy-matchy cohorts, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, show me age now. 
thank you Liv, I've got it right, then uh, making a kind of a top and a bottom that work quite nicely together in the same fabric I think looks really cool. Mostly it's planes, isn't it? You don't really do patterned cords, do you? I suppose you could. You could if you wanted to, Quite yeah. Not, you would look, yeah, it would look a bit odd. But also I think that works with this one, with the uh, Jardin Delicate, which I think is a really pretty one, but we've put that with another one. So we've got Calico Days here, and we've got the Blush Pink in the cotton, plain cotton jersey. So those are a rather nice little combination. Oh, excuse me. It's happening, Liv. I've got it. It's oh, right before Christmas as well, which is not what I wanted, but never mind. Anyway, we've got Jardin Delicate, which is another really lovely one. It's kind of a soft, pinky, peachy kind of colour, but I love that soft kind of sagey green there as well. So we've put that with a plain one. Again, if you wanted to do a kind of a, a co-ord with this, I think that would look rather nice. So this is sage... Sage green cotton jersey. It's a single jersey. So all of these are like t-shirt fabrics, which are really nice and easy to work with. Um, and they're lovely. Um, also, this one, the sage green, works really nicely with the brushed cotton that we've got here. So this one is... Picnic on the Prairie. It's a cotton flannel, which is really lovely. It is narrower. But depending on the size that you're working with, you are probably only still going to need twice the length for your pyjamas, which is rather nice. But actually, those two work quite nicely together. Actually, all three work really nicely together, don't they? They've all got similar colours in them, which I think work really well. So we've got, what should I say that one was called? Picnic on the Prairie. We've got Sage Green Single Jersey. And we've got Jardin Delicate in the print as well, which are rather nice. So all three of those work really nicely together. So those are the kind of jersey knit ones. Actually, I'm going to move those over there. Just make sure I haven't missed saying hello to anybody. No, that's cool. Fabulous. Now, these are the woven fabrics that I would use for the PJs. So this is lovely. This is a little bit more kind of traditional um, and it's a silver grey paisley. It's a cotton lawn. So again, nice and cool. So you could kind of wear this all year round, actually. I think this would be really nice. It's not hugely translucent either, which is quite a bonus for pyjamas. Um, and I think that's a really lovely one. I quite like that myself, actually. That would look rather nice. And you could kind of edge it. You could pick out our um, storm grey linen, like we've used on the sample here, and use those as the, as the kind of contrast piping which I think would work really nicely. So this one is called Grey and Cream Paisley Cotton Lawn, which is rather nice. Morning, Alison. Merry Christmas to all the team. Merry Christmas to you. Morning, Sue. Thanks for joining us this morning. The last one of the year. Can you believe it? Where's the year gone, honestly? Um, this one is the same fabric that we've used for the sample just a different colourway. So this is a viscose, but it's like a brushed cotton. It feels so lovely, it really does. This is another one of my favourites, actually. So this is Silver Paisley Viscose Twill. So that's a rather nice one too. And then I quite like, actually you could use, you could have this, this cut on the bias. You'd have slightly like diagonal stripes would work really nicely as a contrast to the Paisley, actually, because you've got that lovely, the blue just picks out the blue in the paisley there, which is rather nice. I like that. So that would work really nicely. So this one is Caparola. Now it's a slightly heavier weight. It's more like a poplin. So it's a slightly closer, more dense kind of weave, but actually the two would work quite nicely together. So you could even have, I don't know, pyjama bottoms in that and a pyjama top in that with a little bit of piping, mix and match. I think that could look quite nice, actually. I like those. And then we've got, now this is another viscose, but I quite like all the colours in this. I'm, I'm kind of drawn to this one. And it's called Cloudy Stars. It is another viscose. So again, it's going to be super soft and comfy to wear. But I think that would made up in a as a pair of pyjamas would actually look really cute. And again, you could pick out any of the colours 
So if you wanted to, I mean, we've, the sage green that I showed you earlier would actually work really nicely with this as well because it just kind of picks out that little sagey green star colour. Or you could use um, a plain navy with it or just a white or actually we've got... Now this is the Dobby Spot Double Gauze, which is rather nice. So that would work really nicely with it as well, actually. Those kind of colours together would be rather nice. So yeah, double gauze again, as pyjamas, as pyjama bottoms, I think work brilliantly. They're so comfy and so soft. So you could make the whole thing, the shirt as well, out of um, the double gauze, which I think would work brilliantly. It's not normally a fabric that you kind of think of as, as kind of pyjamas or nightwear, but actually I think it works brilliantly. It's so soft and it's just really nice and, and comfy to wear. So we well, can see another, Morning Marilyn. Uh, how can I order the pyjama patterns with the discount, please? It's not coming up with offer on the website. You need to use um, the code. So the code for the, uh, and it's only for the PDF. So the code is Xmas, all capital letters, 20, because it's the 20th of November. So that's the code that you need to put in at checkout when you're ordering the Rosalind pyjama PDF pattern. So I hope that will work for you. If there isn't, let me know and we'll have a look and see what we can sort out for you. Morning, Debbie. How are you? Happy Christmas. Just checking. There we are. So, and then I actually write, I quite like those. That's sort of a denim -y kind of look, isn't it? Let's move these out of the way. So we've got the paisley. We've got another paisley. And we've got the caparola stripe, which is rather nice. And we've got Cloudy Stars, which I think is quite cute, actually. I like that. I do like that. Nice and lightweight. Because if, like me, you're getting a little bit warm, then that's fine. So this is the, uh, what's it called? It's Dobby Spot Double Gauze Fabric in Steel Blue. So that's quite a nice one as well, actually. That would make up really nice. And we have got more of this. So... Um, there we are. Now, these two are slightly narrower, but again, I think they're so pretty. Again, you don't have to use them for um, the pyjama top. You could just use them for the bottoms. So this is another flannel. So this one is called Spring Daisies. So uh, when I say flannel, it's like 100% cotton, but you know it's got that kind of brushed sort of flannel kind of feel to it. Um, but I think that's so pretty. Again, it's kind of girly, but not overly so, if you see what I mean. Um, and I like the colours, the little kind of daisy with the little red centre, which is really cute. Similar colours. This is 100% uh, cotton lawn, but again, it's only 45 wide. So just double check your fabric quantities with these two fabrics. If you're just doing pyjama bottoms, again, depending on the size, but you'll probably still only want twice your length. So that's not too bad. Um, but again, I think this is so pretty. It's a little bit kind of a bit Kath Kidston kind of thing, which I think is quite cute. But I like that colourway. And it's called Cornflower Blue Ditzy Floral. That's a good price, actually. So that's pretty good. So those are rather nice there. So these are just some ideas for pyjamas, which I think are fabulous. Obviously, when I get home in the evening, the first thing I do is put my pyjamas on. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. you, you do the same. The Absolutely. Light the fire, get the log burner on the go, put your pyjamas on, and that's it. You're well away for the rest of the evening, aren't you? Which is perfect. So those are my kind of favourites for pyjamas. And now these are favorites of mine for other things but i also want to let you know about you might have noticed claire morning claire morning jules happy christmas lovely fabrics making jessica dress for christmas but it's been struck down by a bad cold oh no i know it's that time of year isn't it everyone's going down with a lurgy if it's not covid it's flu or a stinking cold so um, just make sure your vitamin C is up there, your zinc is up there, and make sure you're getting some plenty of fresh air. Get out there and kill those germs. Um, so you might have noticed we have a secret event coming up. Well, a couple of secret events coming up in January. Now, we've called them SMS Unlocked 
because it means that you've got inside access to what goes on here. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So we've got lots going on on those four days. So we've got morning sessions and afternoon sessions. So each day we're going to have something slightly different going on. Um, we're going to have, um, are we allowed to say what's going on? What's in them? Is it going out yet? Sure. Don't know. Maddie, Lucy, am I allowed to say what's actually going on? Let me know because we've got lots of things going on and I really want you to come here. We've got exclusive stuff going on. What was that? That was a yes. That was a yes. Oh, I'm allowed. I'm allowed to let the cat out of the bag. That's good. So we've got, um, there will be fabrics available here that won't be online. You'll have the first look at all of the new fabrics that we've got coming in in the new year. Um, we've got sewing demos going on. We've got a Q&A so you can bring your sewing queries to me and we'll go through everything. Um, we've got a book signing. If you want me to scribble in a book, then feels like defacing things but um, we've got that going on as well there's going to be uh, competitions we've got a prize draw um, there's going to be lots of stuff going on you'll actually see how we do things here and I think that's quite important because people don't really realize quite how much goes into doing a pattern it's not just like chucking it out there there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes so um, you can come and join us there's obviously going to be tea, coffee and cake because it wouldn't be an event without that at all. Um, and we're going to have some really gorgeous cakes there as well. Sue, so, I'm just been trying to send myself a Florence for the Christmas, but still getting PJs done for grandchildren, nephews and nieces. Do you know what? Don't stress. Just don't stress. I was finding myself in this situation the other day thinking, oh my God, I haven't finished work yet and I've still got things to make and I've still got Charlie's present to do and I haven't done any food shopping and I've missed my delivery food slot and all of this kind of stuff. And then I thought to myself, actually, do you know what? It doesn't actually matter, does it really? The whole scheme of things, um, what does it really matter? As long as you've got something to put on the table for Christmas Day and as long as you're with the people that you love and you want to be with, that's all that matters really, isn't it? So I'm kind of not stressing about it all now. I'm kind of just taking a bit of a chill pill. But there we go. Julia says, I can't wait for my stenciling course in February. I know. Julia, come and stay in January. Come on, there's loads of stuff going on in Stratford as well. So um, if you wanted to come down and make a day of it, stay overnight, enjoy the delights of Stratford, why not? It's going to be a really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it actually. Because we don't have a shop shop, if you see what I mean. We can't really, and we kind of only have people in every now and then. I really want to be able to open everything up to everybody so that you can see what we've got, how we do things. And it's going to be really cool, actually. Lots of lovely things going on on those days. Um, so I'm really looking forward to those. So you can get your tickets. There are already going to be limited places because we've only got a limited space. So just make sure that you book your session that you want to come to because there are only going to be limited numbers of people allowed in at any one go um, because we've only got a limited size of, of space that we've got here. And we're going to move all the shop out, change everything around so you can see stuff. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, so we've also got the, we've got a sample sale starting on Boxing Day. We've got, so some of the old samples that we've got, um, all of the sizing information will be there so you can know what size you're buying. Um, and so if you like one of our patterns, but you don't want to make it, which why would you not want to make it? But if you wanted a ready-made one, some of the ones that we've used in photo shoots in the past and some of the ones that you've seen at shows will be available on Boxing Day. So that's quite cool. Um, and we've got lots of other workshops coming up in the new year as well. We've got, now, there was a little bit of a query about this, about sewing, we've got a sewing surgery. Now we did have it as a social sewing session, but actually people were requiring a lot more help. So in order to make sure that our tutors are being paired fairly, paid fairly, get my words out, for what they are able to do. We've had to increase the price. So what we've done is we've changed the nature of the session. So although it will still be wonderful for people to come and have a natter and a cup of coffee and stuff like that, the tutors are there to help you with whatever sewing queries you've got. So we've called it the sewing surgery now and our tutors will be paid fairly for what they're doing, which is what we want 
to make sure it happens across the board. So that's why we've increased the price for that. So we thought we'd kind of rename it and call it something different because it kind of is something different. However, if you are interested in just purely coming along for a chat and have a cup of coffee and maybe use the sewing machines as well, we will be having a specific sewing, a social sewing session coming up, but there won't be any tutor support there at all. It'll just be you rocking up, doing whatever you want to do, or just sitting having a cup of tea and a cup of, you know, a coffee and a piece of cake and a bit of a natter with other people. So we have got those coming up in the new year as well. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Bianca Coat coming up in January. We've got one place left on that. We've got the Fit Your Dummy at the end of January. I cannot tell you how useful that will be. If you are making your own clothes and you kind of want to get into that, then having a mannequin that is your shape is going to be so beneficial. It really is. It's a fabulous workshop. Um, I would thoroughly recommend it. So you can put, basically what you need to do is put a mannequin on your Christmas list and then get someone to book that workshop for you as well. So you can bring your mannequin to the workshop, get it all kitted out and padded out and squidged and everything so it's your shape, which is brilliant. Um, that's really cool. Uh, we've also got a learn to use your sewing machine session. So again, we've been doing kind of things that aren't necessarily sewing based, more craft based. And some people have been saying, oh, this looks really cool. Having a nose around the studio, seeing what we're doing, which is what we love. Um, oh, I've never done it. I've never tried using a sewing machine before, but I'd really like to get into it. You know, I just want to make a, a cushion or a bag or something like that. So we've got those sewing sessions coming up as well for people you know for teenagers as well who've never who might get a sewing machine for Christmas and want to learn how to use it so we've got those coming up which is brilliant too um, we've got the Jessica dress so again if you want to come and learn how to make the Jessica with a little bit of you know a little bit of hand holding going at the same time we've got one of those coming up midweek which is brilliant that's lovely and you can get the whole dress done in a day it's fab really good um, we've got the stencil printing again that Julia was talking about with Mel which is wonderful and Mel is such a gorgeous human being she really is it's such a lovely workshop I think you would really enjoy that someone's falling over or doing something throwing things around upstairs um, uh, so, yeah, so we've got lots going on lots going on now I'm just going to show you my favorites I've just literally picked out through all the fabrics that we've got. I have remarkably, there isn't a lot of linen in here, but that goes without saying. Linen is obviously my favourite. I'm wearing linen today. This is my Juno in the storm grey linen. Viv, hello. Not sure I'd like to see my actual body shape, but useful though. Do you know what, Viv? I know it can be a little bit scary looking at your doppelganger, but it's a safe space. So it's whatever goes, it's not a problem. And it will make a big difference to getting clothes to fit you better, which is what we want to do, isn't it, really? We're spending all that time and energy on making something. We actually want it to fit at the end of the day and make us look and feel better, which is the whole point of making stuff, isn't it, really? So it's actually a really good workshop to do. Um, Julia says, I think it would cause me a deep depression. <laughs> Julia, no, it wouldn't. It's actually really useful. Do you know what? We have to be grateful for what we've got. If we've got you know, if all the bits and pieces are working, they're enabling us to get from A to B, then we have to be grateful for that, don't we? We might not look like Elle McPherson or Kate Moss or whoever, but if we've got all the bits that we need and they're all working in good order, that's something to be grateful for, isn't it, really? Um, so I keep mine covered with a dressing gown when I haven't got a project on. Now, is that your body or is that your, double, your, your actual mannequin? This is a really interesting conversation going on here. I love that. That's brilliant. So, yes, if you want to, we have got lots going on. Don't forget, we've got gift vouchers and we still have spaces left on our retreats for next year. Now, have a look because we've got some photos of the accommodation up there. It's absolutely stunning. It really is. Um, and we have got, so if there's a couple of you that want to come together as a couple of friends or something like that, we have got two rooms that link together, which is really handy. So if there's, you know, mother and daughter or a couple of sisters or best friends or something like that that want to come along, then make sure you book those two rooms because those are brilliant. They're really good. Um, and if you've got any questions about the retreats, let us know. Um, we're scaling everything down this year because we want it to be a bit more kind of a, an intimate, kind of friendly sort of environment. Um, 
Oh, the mannequin suit, so that's fine. Thank you for clearing that up. That was good. Yes, that's okay. Uh, I hide mine behind the door, says Donna. Oh, no. But this is the thing, isn't it? We need to kind of accept ourselves a bit more. And this is what's fabulous about the retreats. So if you are thinking about a retreat, stick it on your Christmas list. We have only got four up for now. Two of them are almost full. We have got spaces on another two. So it is such a wonderful thing to come and do with us. I love doing the retreats. They are brilliant. They really are. We've also got our diploma. So we are still having, applications are still open for the diploma for next year as well. So we're looking forward to getting that started too. And again, if you've got any questions about anything, just fire us an email, give us a call and we're happy to help. So I love that. This is brilliant. Right. These are my favourites. Now I'm just going to push these forwards a bit. There we go. Now you can't have enough white tops, can you really? They kind of go underneath everything. They go with everything. So I just wanted to show you the white double gauze, which I love. I think this is going to make up. And these are, if I had all the time in the world and making, I could, you know, make whatever I wanted to make, this would be my wish list, basically. Um, I would love to make an Imogen in this. I think that would look amazing. I would also do the T-shirt from um, the Sewing for the Soul book as well, the self-drafted woven tea. I think that would be really nice, actually. We've used linen for the one in the book, but a double gauze would work really nicely. So again, this would work as a kind of a top to go with your Rosalind, oops, pyjama bottoms as well, she says, throwing the fabric around. Um, but I think that would, <laughs> it's alive. It's alive this morning. I think that would be a really nice, I like, I just love the feel of it as well. And white is brilliant because it kind of goes with everything. You can wear it underneath stuff. It goes brilliantly with jeans. So I think that's perfect. Hi, Lizondria. How are, thanks for joining us. Morning, Linda. Late today, but happy Christmas all. Happy Christmas to you too. Um, another one that I love. Now I have got an Imogen in this and I absolutely love it. It's a Merchant and Mills and it's called Garden Party and it's a linen, but it's beautiful. It's just got that lovely kind of check. Now it's obviously been next to it's quite a nice weight, actually. It's slightly heavier than our plain linen. Now, our plain linen is 185 GSM. So this is probably about 200. It's a little bit heavier, but I love it. So now I'm thinking ahead now because obviously it takes a little time to kind of get your sewing up to speed and finding time to do stuff. So I'm planning my projects in advance. I think... Jessica in this for the spring and summer would look amazing so this is what I would I would make Teresa morning Teresa thanks for joining us so that is my choice so this is garden party in grey check which is rather lovely now again I've got white linen I love white linen it is just I've got a white linen shirt. I need, now I have got a white linen Julia, but I managed to spill coffee on it and I haven't been able to get the coffee stain out. So I need to make myself another one. Now, so a Julia top as a woven works brilliantly. But what I've done, because you, the Julia top is quite snug on the forearm, in order to give you the width, because we designed the Julia for a stretch fabric, so you've got the stretch, gives you the movement. But if you insert a gusset all the way up the side and into the sleeve, that's going to give you the extra space that you need on the forearm to make it a little bit more wearable, which is brilliant. Oh, morning, Hannah. First time I've been able to see you live for a while. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks for joining us, Hannah. That's cool. Hopefully, people have finished work if they are at, still at work. Now I've got the white ribbing again, that that's gonna go with the white linen. So that's a perfect kind of combination really. And I love that white with, um, I've got my gray corduroy nail trousers. I've got uh, my navy aerial trousers. I've got my hunter's green linen aerial trousers, which I think are fab. I've also got my duchess jeans. So it's gonna go with everything which is what I love. Being able to make things that you are, that you can kind of mix and max, 
mix and match with, I think is what it's all about really. Because you don't really want to just have something that you can wear once and that's it. White linen is just perfect. So as I said, I've got a shirt, so you could make up the Cesario in this, or even the overshirt from Same for the Soul book would be really nice in white linen too. Now these, oh, I just love, and I've only picked two. I could have picked them all. I could have picked them all. But these are the Japanese cotton linen fabrics and I just adore them, I really do. These are fabulous. Now I know, Debbie, you've got this. You managed to grab this, didn't you, in the summer to make up a Jessica, which looks a fantastic, it really does. And I think that's probably what I would do with this. Either a Jessica or a Florence, I think would work brilliantly in either of those. But also, I think if you did um, an Imogen top, would look really nice in this as well. Or even a Celia. Now, whether you put the frill on the Celia or whether you just do one of the other hacks that we've incorporated for the Celia pattern that we've done this year, I think with the, um, the yoke across the top and a little frill inserted in one of the other fabrics, I think would look brilliant, actually. That would work so nicely. But I love this. So we've got spaced lines. These are seven berry, so they are proper, beautiful Japanese fabrics, which are just gorgeous, but they are slightly narrower. That's the only problem. Um, so double check your fabric quantities. And this one is speckled indigo cotton. Now, the nice thing about them is the ones that are, they're slightly kind of creamy, but then on the inside, you could use that as the right side if you wanted to. So you've got quite a little contrast there which I think is lovely. So some of the other ones are slightly whiter on the inside and slightly creamier on the outside. So I think those are beautiful and I would definitely, oh, actually you could make a pair of nail trousers out of these as well and they would look really nice. So again, thinking about, thinking ahead to spring, I think those are both are absolutely beautiful and I love them. So please don't buy all of them. Sharon's going to be spinning now when I say that, isn't she? Please don't buy everything. No. Now, I know there's a lot of blue here, but I do like navy. It's just such a classic. So I think that's rather lovely. Now, I've also incorporated a couple of these. Now, I was going to grab some navy linen, but I haven't, so never mind. We'll talk about that later. This is one of the new needle cords. Now, I did show this last week, but this is a lighter weight one and it doesn't have any stretch. So some of the other corduroy that we've got has a lot more give to it, whereas this doesn't. This is quite, um, quite a stable fabric. I love this, but it's lighter weight. So this would be kind of shirt weight. So a, a Cesario, if you're making a shirt for somebody for Christmas, for example, um, then a Cesario made up in this would be really nice. You could also do this as a Julia, so if you wanted something that was a slightly heavier weight woven Julia, but didn't want linen, this needle cord would be perfect. Um, you could also use this for a Florence or a Jessica dress would be ideal, even a Juno if you wanted to. So any of our dresses would work really nicely with this. Um, you could even make up a navy uh, Viola skirt or a Desdemona skirt actually, would, which would look really cool as well. It's a Dashwood one. So again, a really good quality, quality brand of fabric. And I love it. I think that's so nice. I like that. It's not too dark a navy either, which is rather nice. So you could put our navy rib with it as well if you wanted to. So that would work quite nicely. So that is, what's it called? It's called... Dashwood Navy Corduroy, and it is 150 wide, so it's a good width as well. Pop that up the back there. Now, Waffle. Oh, I love this. I love this fabric. Now, this I would definitely make a Julia top out of, um, and I would probably extend the sleeve rather than add the gusset into it, um, just because I think having the extra seams um, spoils the shape of it. Whereas with a plain fabric, you've got that seam detail, which is a little bit of an added 
design feature. But with this, I would definitely, oh, and I love this. And again, you could put the rib with it, or you could actually put one of the cuffing strips. So we've got the navy with the orange, or we've got the navy that's got the white and the gray and that lovely lime green that goes through it as well. So you could kind of slightly change things a bit. So you might want to lengthen the sleeve. If you've got a slightly shorter, shorter or narrower in depth kind of cuff on the bottom of the sleeve, you might want to lengthen the sleeve slightly just to allow for that. But I think that's rather nice. And I just think the kind of the weight of it is going to give you that kind of slouchy sort of look without it being a sweatshirt, if you see what I mean, which I think is lovely. So I really like those. These are, so a strip of this will do you a neckband and cuffs. So if you wanted to use it for a regan and have another strip or two to go around the waist, then you'd need maybe two or three strips, depending on the size that you're going to make. But for just doing uh, a neckband and cuffs, one strip should do you for those. We have got the other one left. I don't know if we've got, no, I think we've sold out of them. We had another one of those, but had green around the, the tip of it, which is rather nice. We've also got the gray and the orange. So that's the waffle cotton, which I love. So it's not just for dressing gowns. You could actually make more things out of this, which is brilliant. Now, this, oh, I love this fabric and we, it doesn't kind of show up very well on, um, on camera, unfortunately. It's a viscose rayon and it's an Atelier Brunette fabric, but it has a very, very slight little kind of satin dobby spot in it. And I just think this is gorgeous. It is such a fabulous quality fabric it really is but you just can't see it on screen which is one of the reasons why we wanted to get people to come into the studio so the shows and we've you know it's been fantastic being back out of the shows this year um, the shows are fantastic because you can actually see and feel and touch all the fabrics and that's what I wanted really to, to get people to do is to come here and then you can see and feel and touch all the fabrics. So this one is so beautiful. Now I've got a pair of aerial combat trousers or cargo pants in this and it's just so lovely to wear. It really is. It's beautiful to work with. It's called, where's the label? Dobby Spot Crepe Midnight. There we go. Um, Oh, Donna says, could you do a Regan in the waffle? Absolutely. You'd probably want to knock it up a couple of sizes, but saying that, keep the neck size, the original size that you would want to make. So if you're a size 12, you trace off your cut or out your pattern following the size 12 neckline, but maybe a size 14 or 16 for everything else, because you want there to be a bit more give and a bit more ease in the shape. So because it's a woven, there isn't a stretch, which gives you the ease. So you might want to have a, a slightly larger size made up. But yeah, Donna, that would look really cool. And when you make it, send us a photo or tag us on social media, because that's what we really love is when people um, show us what they've done, um, especially when you've hacked it, actually. Um, oh, Hannah says, I'm making a Julia for my mum as a Christmas present in a lovely light pink sweatshirting. Oh, nice. That's really cool. I know, I must admit, I made one for my mum a few years ago and she still wears it, which is really rather nice. So that's cool. So this is the Dobby Spot Crepe in Night. There we go, because it's a really, it is a cut, it's navy, but it's a very dark navy, which I think is beautiful and I love it. And now this one, I haven't, it's online, but I haven't ever put it into a Textile Tuesday. I love this. I love this fabric. I want to marry it and have its babies because it's just so gorgeous. It's a wool. It's Merchant and Mills. And I have just been drooling over this for weeks. I would make this up either as a Gertrude, actually, um, or I would make it into the coat from the Sewing for the Soul book. But because it has no right and wrong, you could, I mean, a Bianca in that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be so nice. I'm going to have to chop off what I want for myself before 
this goes out because it is absolutely beautiful and it's called Valley Check. There we go. Let me just see. I'm just making sure I get the name right. Yeah, Merchant and Mills Valley Check. I just love the colours in this. It is just beautiful. It's a beautiful kind of emerald green and then it's this lovely kind of leprechaun green in there beautiful bright green it's got a black check and a sky blue check and a kind of a very slightly it's a greeny white if you remember those dulux colors it's more like an apple white does that sound familiar i love this now obviously it's a loose weave so you're going to have to be really careful when you cut this just to make sure that all your checks line up. So I would probably cut this single on a single layer and then just make, you're gonna to need to make sure that all your checks line up beautifully. So actually something simple like a Bianca coat would be really easy to, um, to match. The Gertrude, on the other hand, might be a little bit of more of a challenge, but hey, nothing worth having is not worth working hard for, is it really? Um, and I absolutely adore this. I really do. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, could you make a skirt in it? Absolutely, Donna. You'd probably want to line it, though, because it's quite, though it's a wool and it is a fairly loose weave. So by lining it, you're going to support the fabric and that's going to help it, help to prevent it from bagging on the bottom and stretching out of shape. So I would definitely, definitely line it. If you're making anything like a tailored skirt or something like that, definitely. Yeah. That's, oh, I love this. Please don't buy all of it because I just love it so much. I'm going to put that over there. So, and actually similar kinds of colours. Again, this, I've, I've actually made this one so you can buy all of this now because I've got mine from here. Um, this is, oh, I love it. I've got a Florence in this and it's called Wild Swimmers. It's a fabric godmother fabric and I just adore it. Again, you've got little people, they're doing paddle boarding and they're in the water. And there's, look, there's a little, look, there's Olive there watching everybody in the water. I think it's so cool. And there's a little stag. Do you know what? We were out for a walk with a dog the other day in the snow. And all of a sudden, we were over at Long Barn. And all of a sudden, like 28 deer. We counted them all. It was a proper big herd. Yeah. And they were all, um, I don't know quite what deer they were because most deer lose their antlers in the winter. But there was a big stag up there yeah with all of the other hinds so yeah and it was just like this mass of them they kind of like disappeared they came out of the trees and went running up the hill back into the other trees it was really cool uh, i love this fabric i really do i think it's fabulous it's a viscose rayon so again it's really nice to work with um and it's called wild swimmers oh, and it, i love it it's gorgeous so that would work perfectly again florence jessica Kate dress even, Angelica would be perfect in this. Um, you could do an Imogen top, Celia top, um, all kinds of things would work. Even if you just wanted to have it as a sweatshirt, as a regan or something like that, that, and that would be brilliant. So now, this is my little kind of collection for the mechanicals. Now, again, loungewear. It's going to be absolutely key but to be honest that's what most people are going to be wearing isn't it over the next couple of weeks really isn't it loungewear so oh julia you had that on at harrogate and it looked amazing thank you yes i was wearing it at harrogate yes so we've got three jerseys two are the same one is slightly different so this is a linen slub jersey and it's white now we've made our we've got a couple of t-shirts in this as our kind of our, for our sample fabrics and sample garments but I love this. So if I hold that up, you can kind of see that it's a slightly kind of slubby. So there is, it's not a completely flat white, which is quite nice actually. So that as a, a long line um, flute vest would be perfect to wear under lots of other things. So I would put that as my flute vest. I'd then make a pair of the snout yoga pants in this, which is denim mall cotton jersey. So again, the yoga pants are slightly wider leg, which is rather nice, a bit more comfy. Now they have the turned over top, 
to give you that kind of slouchy sort of waistband look, but you don't have to incorporate that. You could just put them on a normal waistband if you wanted to. And then I would put either, either a quince cardigan or I'd probably do a Julia top actually over the top of my long line. So you've got your nice kind of snug yoga pants that are flaring out. You've got a long line vest that's hugging over your hips. So it's kind of slimming you down a bit. And then you've got that lovely boxy shape of a Julia cropped sort of Julia top over the top, which I think is just lovely. If I could wear that all day Christmas day, I would be really happy. Um, and I think that's what I would like to do. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to make it before Christmas. So I'm going to plan it for next Christmas because that's probably how long it's going to take me to get around to doing anything at the moment. But there we go. But I think all three of those together would just be a really nice little colour combination. And I love those. So we've got linen. We've got the white linen slub. We've got the mild grey, mild denim. And we've got, what's that one called? Lovely. It is, well done, Liv, yeah. It's the Li Lavender Marl Cotton Jersey. So all of those are single jerseys still. Um, there's lots of walking around going upstairs, isn't there? So these would be perfect. These would be my choice for um, some of the loungewear patterns that we've got at the moment. Now, the ones that I've got here, Again, these are quite random, but they're just my favourites. So that's what I'm showing you today. This is another Merchant and Mills check. And I love this. This is so cute. Oh, what's the car? What's it actually called? Let me find my sticker. So this is Louisiana. And I love the colours in here. You've got a teal and you've got like a lovely cranberry. Well, it's more like a raspberry kind of colour and because you've got all of those different colours woven together you get those lovely subtle kind of colour in between colours but again this is just so cute I love this I would make this up into another Florence or a Jessica dress because they're just really easy and you're just relying on the check um, pattern that's giving you that kind of wow factor for a really simple pattern dress pattern I mean rather than fabric pattern but I love the colours in here and again, linen, you can wear it all year round, can't you? So it's absolutely perfect. I love that. So that's Louisiana. Again, this one, again, slightly random, but I love this. It's bright red and cerise. So this as a snug T-shirt underneath my denim Jessica dress would be perfect. Absolutely nailed this. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, oops. Just going to, there we go, just make sure. Okay, Maddie's gonna pop the link up for the check in a sec. Um, this one is called, it's called Pink and Red Striped Cotton. Now again, because the stripes are so narrow, you wouldn't necessarily, you could get away without absolutely matching these. And because most of the fabric is knitted in the round anyway they put them on big looms so you got well, well thanks maddie for putting those up you're kind of knitting everything in a circle um, and actually because it's a really narrow stripe it's going to be really easy to kind of move things around if you do want to match it up um, but a snug t-shirt or even the classic t-shirt from um, the same for the soul book would be i would love that and again with denim oh, that would be just perfect I would love those. So that would be on my sewing list, definitely. Um, now, this is another one of my favourites. Now, Hayley beat me to it with this one. And she's got a Florence in it and it looks amazing. This is another Fabric Godmother. It's kind of quite folk arty. But again, I love the colours. This actually would go perfectly with the night crepe Dobby spot that I showed you earlier from Atelier Brunette. Um, it's the same kind of background. So it's very dark, but it's not black and it's not charcoal. It's almost like a midnight blue. I love this and I love the colours. I seem to be drawn to quite primary colours, <laughs> but um, I love that. I think it's absolutely fabulous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is called... 
I just oh it's Joni. There we go. Joni Eco Vero crepe in navy. But again, it's just so lovely. You've got loads of gorgeous colours in there that you can pick out. Oh look, and look, my necklace goes with it. Look, I need to have it, Liv. I need to have it. This needs to go on my list. Needs to go on my list. Perfect. Now the last one I should now. I am a little bit naughty and I do sometimes buy fabric from other places. I know, which is not good. And I did pick up some beautiful checked linen at uh, Ali Pali. So, and it ha it's navy, of course, but the check in it is this colour. So that's perfect. So I would make up on my hit list, I would make up a Florence or maybe a Jessica um, in my linen. And then I would have this as a snug t-shirt to go underneath it so this is on my kind of slightly quieter days if I wanted something to contrast with a dress or to wear as a base layer um, and the pink and red stripe would be on one of my louder days my more confident days whereas sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit more subdued you might want to wear slightly subdued colors but I love and the quality the feel of this is amazing which is another reason why we want to get people into the studio so that you can actually feel the fabric. So this is, where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, there we go. Brick red heathered something. Heathered cotton jersey, there we go. Uh, it's viscose, it is viscose. It has got cotton in it, but it is viscose. It just feels very kind of like peach skinny kind of feel to it which is absolutely beautiful I love that it's almost like in a kind of a dark dark ruby kind of red which is rather lovely so those are my favorites let me just put that back again there we are so some of them are a little bit random but some of them kind of make sense to me so this would be my hit list for sewing for the next few months if I had the time, which let's face it, I'm not going to, but it's on my wish list. So if you fancy a little project for yourself, if you've got some downtime between Christmas and New Year or something like that, then um, today is our last posting day. Um, and we're hoping, fingers crossed, that everything will get to you before Christmas. Um, there's no guarantee now, but hopefully... Once you get your Christmas celebrations out of the way and you want a little bit of downtime to sew for yourself, you'll get your parcel then. Um, it has been a complete nightmare trying to get things to people at the moment and we are looking for alternatives. So please bear with us. If you've ordered something and you haven't received it yet, it will be out there somewhere and hopefully on its way to you. Do remember to have a look at the workshops because we've got loads coming up and... You can join us at the retreats next year, which is wonderful. They are so fabulous. Um, I really enjoy running those. And we're going to make them a little bit more intimate and a bit more special next year as well, which would be really cool. We've also got our secret events coming up, which is going to be really cool, really fabulous. I can't wait to get people back into the studio again, which would be lovely. Um, we've got those coming up. So we're calling them SMS Unlocked. So those events are definitely worth coming to. There'll be loads of stuff going on, lots of bargains to be had and lots of fun to be had at the same time as well, which is really cool. Um, have a fabulous Christmas. Obviously, we're not going to be here next week because we're now closed for two weeks. We're back again on the 4th of January. It is the 4th of January, isn't it? Let me just double check that. I think it is the 4th. No, 3rd. Yes, I'm looking. At, I was thinking, no, it's only Scotland that have got the bank holiday on the third um, so we are back again on the 3rd of January so that's when we'll have our next textile Tuesday um, and we've got all of those lovely events coming up we'll have some more news for you with what's happening for next year so hopefully you can join us then have a relatively germ free Christmas and New Year enjoy your making enjoy some downtime and hopefully we'll see you again soon in the new year take care and happy new year Chris happy Christmas and happy new year